Well, it looks like the silver slide continues. Is it time to just sell all your silver and get out while you can? Whew. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so I woke up this morning. I took a look at the price of silver, and I was distracted because my kids were watching one of my favorite Disney movies. But just as I looked at the price, I heard from the TV... Silver is down almost a dollar today. It is sitting at 2164, and this is a really key number. We have fallen through the support, but you don't have to hear it from me. Here's a clip from my recent interview I did with Lior Gantz. Because the 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 length of this uh, range is between 29 and a half and 22 and a half, the uh, the size of this range is seven dollars, which means. If it falls below support decisively, so if it breaks below 22 and a half decisively, then uh, the, the downside potential is $7. So it can go to 15 bucks. Well, there you have it. Looks like silver's going down. So you might as well just sell all the silver that you own and move on, right? Well, wrong. <laughs> Absolutely not. If you're buying physical silver which is what i recommend that's what i do then you should hold on to it this is a long-term hold you buy this stuff and you basically never sell this is your insurance this is your protection right here if anything happens to the dollar you need to have some wealth outside of the dollar and beyond that silver can be volatile it is more volatile than gold this is something that I've talked about in videos in the past. Gold didn't really move that much today, but silver was affected. There was a big move in silver today. So that's why it's important to diversify. You have some of your stack in silver, some of your stack in gold. But ideally, you just hold on to this stuff for a long time. So when you see dips like this, you shouldn't be discouraged if you've been buying physical silver now if you're trading silver maybe you should be discouraged i i don't think right now is a great time to be trading silver unless you're trying to short it i guess but even then i'm just not into the paper stuff i like the physical this is what i understand i mean this is what i do i'm a stacker this is a long-term hold if silver goes down a dollar or two dollars or five dollars tomorrow I don't care. I'm not selling any of it. In fact, I'm going to be buying more of it. So whenever you see these dips, you should really be excited if you're a stacker. Hey, this stuff just went on sale. Let's go buy some more. Let's lower our dollar cost average because this is a long-term thing. It's not a short-term thing. And if you're looking at silver as a short-term thing to try and make some money, get in, get out, you're doing it wrong. I'm not trying to preach to you guys, but I mean, seriously, you're doing it wrong. That's not what silver is. It is a hedge against the dollar. It is protection. It is insurance. It's important. That's why I buy it. That's why I hold it. And a percentage of your portfolio should be in silver and it should be in gold as well. Obviously not your whole portfolio. I mean, I have money in the stock market. I am diversified. I don't own my house yet, but I'm only 30 years old. I'm working at paying it off. Eventually, I will own my house. But if we put all of that aside and we just take a step back and look at silver, okay? Let's laser focus on silver. Where is silver going from here? Is it going to continue to come down? Well, if the dollar continues to get stronger, then likely we will see silver continue to fall in price. There's a lot of weak hands, especially in the paper markets. And the majority of people that buy silver buy it in the paper markets. Take a look at this. 
I just pulled this data from usdebtclock.org. And on the left, it's talking about oil and gold. On the right, it's talking about silver. If we start at the top, you see the dollar to silver ratio now, $3,030 per ounce. That's not saying silver should be over $3,000 an ounce. That's just the ratio, right? There's that many dollars compared to that many ounces of silver, which is a lot. I mean, especially compared to if you go back to 1913, there was only $2.64 per ounce of silver. So have we been printing a lot of money? Yeah. Well, also the price of silver has gone up a lot in the last hundred years. But below that is what I want you to focus on. Paper to silver ratio now. And this is talking about the trades that go on, the paper silver trades compared to the amount of ounces of actual silver in existence, 188.96 to 1. So the vast majority of people that are buying silver, they're not buying physical silver. I mean, obviously this is mostly traders, but it just goes to show there's a lot of coupons out there that say that they're silver, but they aren't silver and there are a lot of weak hands in the paper market so when these people sell yes we do see the price move and it can move very fast and if you think about it this is another reason why you should buy physical silver i mean talk about manipulation that is absolutely insane let me try and pick up this 100 ounce bar here but almost 200 ounces of paper silver compared to every one ounce of actual silver that is manipulation right there i mean there shouldn't be that many certificates or i mean i call them coupons but essentially pieces of paper they are probably on a computer screen somewhere they're probably not actual pieces of paper but you get the idea it's not real silver this is real silver right here you can hold it in your hand right if you if you can hold it then you know you own it but um that's why I buy silver. It is manipulated. The price should be higher. It's not. I don't control the price. The only thing I can control is how many dollars I convert into silver. And I'm converting a lot of my dollars into silver. And when we see the price come down like this, guess what? I'm going to convert even more. Buy the dip, baby. That's what I'm doing. So anyway, I am curious what you all are doing. What do you think about this dip? Did everything just go on sale? Should we be buying more or are you getting out of silver? I mean, I think it's insane to be getting out of silver right now with everything that is going on in the world. I mean, my goodness, this next decade, the 20s are going to be crazy. So if you want to leave a comment, feel free to leave one down below in the comment section. And I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.